Another method for saving output in JMP is called journaling. Now journaling is a general method for saving pretty much any output or any information to JMP, from JMP to a single file. Uh, to journal something, we simply have to press in pretty much any place in JMP, uh, Command J if you're on a Mac, or Control J if you're on a PC. So with this fitly square selected, uh, or with it active, I'm just going to press Command J, and notice that a new window opened right on top of my previous window, labeled now Journal. And let me uh, move these aside so you can see the correspondence here. So this journal file, and I can minimize and you can see, uh, this journal file now contains a section named the exact same thing as my fitly squares, uh, response satisfaction, and it contains all the same information uh, that was contained in that original report. That is, it contains all the same sections as before. Now notice, uh, if we go to the drop-down here, the only options we have are rerun a new window. That is, unlike our original fitly squares, we don't have the option of bringing out new reports uh, or new sections. Now this is uh, one downside of journaling. That is, it doesn't allow you to create new output uh, or request additional output from the analysis the same way you would from a report file. Uh, but this is also a benefit uh, in the sense that the journal you have here is completely static. That is, this is just literally a copy of all the information that was contained in this fit these squares. That is, this output here is literally all the information uh, but just taken as whatever it appeared as in the report. Now the benefit here is that there's zero dependency on any other files. That is, this output is essentially like a printed output. Uh, it's similar to what you'd get if you saved something as a PDF. That is, it's simply just the output or the information that was contained from this section. Now the additional benefit of journaling things is that this journal can contain not only this one analysis, but as many analyses as you want. That is, if I just minimize this whole section, and actually I'm going to name this, if I double click I can say first analysis, so I move it over here. I can now close uh, this least squares and run something different. So let me go fit model, satisfaction, and let me try running a model with just age as my uh, predictors. So now I can take this output, press command J or control J if you're on a PC, and notice it adds it to this same journal file. And if I minimize this, I can double click here and call this second analysis. And now I have both the first and second analysis saved to this one journal file. So I have all the information that was contained in the output. Now the benefit of doing this is that uh, in a single session running analyses, you can save everything you've done to a single file. That is to this single journal file. In addition, we don't even have to save the entire analysis like we did here. We could save just bits and pieces. So for example, let's say the only thing you wanted from this analysis was this summary of fit table. That is the information about the R-squared and all of that. You can, using JMP and using this little selection here, the selection tool, you can select just this section, and all I did was click on that, and then press Command J. And notice in the journal, it'll save just that summary of fit. And so I can rename this and say summary of fit from second analysis. There we go. So notice that this journal can be as comprehensive or specific as you want it to be. Uh, in addition, we can use that selection tool we had here to select the regression plot, for example. And I'll journal that. We can select the leverage plot. I can journal that. And let's say we wanted one more thing. We wanted the residuals by predicted. And I'll journal that. So notice that pretty much anything I can select in JMP, I can journal. In addition, let's say there was just a subsection of my data set that I wanted to save. Maybe uh, subjects 10 through 23. So let me actually select all uh, of that table. So with that selected, I'm going to press Command J. And notice in my journal, I now have just that subsection in my table here, or in my journal file. So it's a pretty handy way to uh, really keep track of all the things you need from a single uh, run of analyses. Uh, so instead of just saving the report files from each analysis, you can save them to your journal. Now one more thing I should mention is that when you set up an analysis, and let's see if I have one of these open still. Uh, I don't, so let me do a new one. So let me fit model 
and let me put, let's say we have this as something complicated, or not too complicated, just a multiple regression. I can actually save this fit model platform, that is I can save this analysis setup if I press Command J to my journal file. That is, under my model specification here, it'll actually indicate what our model effects were and what we were trying to predict, and also give me the ability to rerun this analysis from right here. So if I were to reopen this journal, I can click at any time, rerun in a new window, and it'll pop open a new fit model and fill out the relevant sections for me. So I can even save to my journal how I ran the analysis, not just the output from the analysis. So this journal uh, feature is actually a really powerful piece of JMP because it lets you really contain in one file uh, all the important information that you are concerned with. So I can minimize these here and really just see the things I want. Now once you've uh, put everything into your journal that you want, you simply have to go to File and Save As. And then you can save this journal uh, to wherever you want to. So I'm going to stick with the convention I had before. I'm going to label this with the date. So 2010, 12, 01. And I'm going to call this uh, Journal of Analyses. And now you see it is saved and we have this single file containing all the information. So let me actually close everything I have here and show you what it looks like when I reopen. So here it is on my desktop. I'm just going to reopen this. And notice that everything is exactly as I left it. That is, we still have all the analyses that were left in here. But a point I want to make is that, again, these outputs are static. That is, they're simply the output or the copied output uh, from my analyses. They're not dynamic in the same way that the report files were. That is, if I go to the drop-down for any of these sections, I don't have all those expanded estimates or saved columns or things like that. The only thing I have the option of doing is rerunning this in a new window, uh, which sometimes is something you want to do. It'll simply relaunch the analysis for me uh, going through the fit model. Um, but the journal itself is simply a static entity. It's just the output uh, from the analyses you ran.